Good morning, guys. This is Eugene Compton Gardner. Today, we're going to be forcing dormancy on the pluary trees. In the front is a candy heart pluary. And behind that, we have the sweet treat. Down there. Now, he's been in the ground for a full season. And earlier in the fall, I pruned it. It was reaching the top of this roof here. That's about 10 feet or so. I got like maybe about four foot of growth, five feet of growth in one season. But I brought it back down once it finished fruiting to a manageable size. But it's now January 3rd. And these leaves are still hanging on, especially over here on the sweet treat blueberry this one here so this one you notice that a few of them well most of them fell off um, here in zone 10b 10b so we don't get a lot of chill hours the requirements on chill hours according to a Dave Wilson website on the Honey Heart is approximately about 450 hours of chill hours. That's below 45 degrees. And the Candy Heart is 500 to 600 hours. So I'm not getting nowhere near that. In fact, we only get about, drop down to about 47 degrees here. So I'm not going to reach anywhere near that chill requirements. but. I was able to get uh, one or two fruits last season, so, uh, but we're still able to, well, like I said, that was the first year, I shouldn't have let it fruit it, but I just wanted to taste it, so I got a fruit, a single fruit off of there, and uh, so this year we're just going to be focusing on getting this plant to go dormant. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in here, just remove all of these leaves. Pretty simple to come off. Then these here, you can see all the flowering buds for springtime. So we just remove all these leaves from here. This one will be the simple one because you can count the leaves on this one. The other one, hmm. But we're gonna get it done. Got to get it done for the health of the plant. And for the sake of the fruit. Just peel off all of these. Just kind of pull them backwards, like inwards towards the plant. And they just come right off. But it's always good to, you know, even though you see the chill requirements to, you know, test it. I plan, it's all about the microclimate. One more there, that one's gone. And then, next month or so, uh, I'll come in and start to prune the branches I don't want, you know, clipping the ones that's growing inward and stuff like that. Like that one there, all of these ones will be removed. Our chilling hours here in LA, towards Compton Area 10, uh, Zone 10B is uh, starts around, uh, sorry about that, January 1st to January 10th and it ends around uh, January 21st to the 31st so we don't get a lot of chill hours, that's less than a month to rack up 400, 500, 600 hours chill hours that's not gonna happen but that's when you your microclimate comes into to effect so I planted it in the towards the back end of my house here well yeah towards the back end where it gets like less Sun and uh, seemed like the best spot we're gonna Test it out this year. It's next to where my fig is. You can see he, my fig 
drops all the leaves. That one does pretty well. Probably like two leaves still hanging on, but uh, that one does pretty well as far as going dormant in the winter. So I figure, you know, plant it in a cooler zone. So uh, you could drop the leaves. But I'm gonna get back to removing these leaves. I'll be doing here and again. You could just go backwards as long as you don't damage the, the new buds, which is another thing that will happen that I noticed with my uh, my peach. I tried to force dormancy, but I did it too soon. I did it maybe in like a fall season or what happened was it encouraged new growth that wasn't good that wasn't my intentions but lesson learned from that and now i'm just working on the plums this is one of my favorite uh favorite fruits here first discovered it inside a grocery store actually and from then, you know, just looked around for it, tried to find a plant, and I was able to locate them. So that was before I knew it was called a pluary, because of course they had a different name on it. So I couldn't decide which one I wanted. And when I can't choose, I just get both. But it was a good thing because they do acquire that cross-pollination, so they do pollinate each other, which is pretty good. But the issue I had last season was uh, one of them flowered maybe about two weeks or so before the other. So I only got a, a short window of cross-pollination. So that had to do, that had to play a role into the amount of fruit I got because the plant itself was loaded with flowers but fruit set because the flowering season was a couple weeks off limited the amount of fruit I got in the end so I'm hoping this year they could get more in sync and flower around the same time but we just gotta wait to see what happens right this is only the first full season we're walking into the second second half of it so see that took a couple minutes but got that first branch there see how these are still green over here this one's more dormant brown over here but these I have What's that? Maybe about three feet, three and a half, four feet. And honestly, like, I think I'd want to just keep it at this height, but I'll let it get one more foot or so. Just to, you know, so I get more fruit per branch there. But that's pretty much it. I'll, uh, Pause this video here, and we'll come back when it's all. All the leaves are removed, so you can see how it looks. Benji over there in the background working on that bone. Benji, you working that bone? Yeah. All right, I'll leave you to it. All right, so that's it. Both of them are. Removed all the leaves from them. So again, just pay attention to your microclimate. Microclimate being, you know, your yard. Different areas of the yard, you know what, what side the sun rises, what side the set, where you get the most heat or shade. You know. So this one is mainly in the shade where sun rises over here for a part of the day and then, you know, that's all the sun it'll get. So hopefully that increases my chill hours, but don't focus too much on what the card says, you know, when it tells you 450, 500 hours, chill hours, don't get intimidated. 
you know, because the website says from zones 6 to 9, I'm in zone 10B. So, you're saying I can't grow a blueberry? Try and stop me. So, this one is doing pretty good. All right, guys. And uh, all the leaves that's here, that'll just go back into the soil. That's mulch now. Let that dry up. All right, that's it. That's the prairies. Y'all have a good one.